to ask, Marvel and Disney are excellent at hiding reveals and keeping things under wraps. Have there been any fan theories that you've read that are your favorite? You know, I try not to read things. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I read one that um, thought that, what was it? Oh, I've forgotten it. It's gone <laughs> out of my head. It was a, I, wore, I read one really wacky one that was like something about space and we just, I don't know. Oh, God. It's space. tricky because you can't even say a theory because. Yeah. Then it could it be that, true? Could yeah. It be? It's like, could it be a spoiler? But Who some knows? of the things they come up with are so creative. Or I'm they'll like, be like, well, it's not that. Yes. Yeah. Truly, like the imaginations are. It's wonder, amazing. It is actually amazing yeah. and Some quite smart. Are good at them. Yeah. There's a few that I've read that like, ooh. Yeah, you or there's a few that I'd be like, that would be interesting. Yeah. Get that to the writer's room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, if you had to pick a dream cameo from the MCU to come into Agatha all along, who would it be? Mm, there's so there is. many. There's I, so I'd many good to see actors. Samuel L. Jackson. Ooh. Oh, probably the witches' rose. I would love that. <laughs> Just for like a second. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the tree? Groot. That would be, oh, that'd a, be a trip cute. if he yeah. just all of a sudden was on the witches' rose. Now I do have to ask, um, what is your favorite Marvel movie? Mm. Black Widow is fine. Okay, mm. I like that. Yeah, I, Black Widow is pretty is fun. We'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Joe. If you had to decide on who would play your twin brother in the future of Agatha all along, do I have a twin brother? Well, within the comics, there's some like theories. Oh, I don't think we're talking oh. about the same role. <laughs> My teen doesn't have a twin brother. Oh, really? I was no. like, really? okay, well. Mm. Um, so going back to this, where do you see the future of a chaos magic go in the future of Agatha all along? Without spoilers. I, well, <laughs> that's part of what chaos is. Like, it could be anywhere. Anything like she could, who knows? What about you? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. This is a hard question to yeah. answer without spoiling. I love it. So, the fans are really excited about this, but they kind of want to know. Isn't it fun to interview people that so can't fun. say anything? I know. I'm like, oh my god, I have like all these fan questions, all of these things that they want me to ask, and I'm like, I'm no, trying and to we do want it, we want to be able to, but it's them. super secretive, and we you don't want to reveal do it. it. So no, no spoilers. But is there anything about like the onset chemistry that you can share about the fun? Mm. Oh, we had the best time. Mm -hmm. you know, it was great fun. We would just chat and sit. We wouldn't go back to our trailers. We'd just sit and chat and. Dance sometimes. Patty would play music. Um, Patty would sing sometimes. Patty would sing sometimes, which is great. I love that. We would tell sit stories. Around, like, talk about food, well, our next snack. Yeah. There's a lot of talking about food. Marvel sets have really great snacks. Amazing. You That's could, actually like, get, my... like, toasties and smoothies. Mm. We had an Agatha smoothie, we called it. Yeah, I don't know what was in right. it, but it was delicious. And it was purple. I mm. love that. So that's actually leading on to my next question, is uh, what is your favorite on-set snack? Pistachios. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. I love pistachios. I, for a while there, would get, like, turkey, mustard, and cheese wrapped in lettuce, and that was really good. I also like an mm. apple. You would, get this, you would also get this sandwich with like mustard um, and, I don't know, whatever it was. But avocado. It was really, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was mustard, avocado, and a cheese wrapped in like a... I love that. I've been getting a lot of like peanut butter from the yes. I'm like, I personally absolutely cannot stand peanut butter. I love peanuts, but not peanut butter. I'm, no. I don't really like peanut butter yeah, either. It's, no. it's, I think it's an acquired taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, is there anything you are allowed to share about your experience? Oh, I mean... A lot, but also not a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was it was kind of life changing for a lot of us. Like yeah. I definitely felt like a different person walking out. Um, it just it was very rigorous, mm. and like I would tell my hubby, it was like landing a seven forty seven every day. <laughs> like the amount of amazing work we did, mm. but it was also the most satisfying, and so. And I'm so proud and so just in awe of this cast. And I cannot believe that it even exists, that like this happened. So it was, I, yeah, that was like one of the many best parts. It's just to be on the other side of it being like, wow. Hmm. 
No, it truly is an amazing show, mm -hmm. and I just love how the fans are so excited because we, as an audience, feel like this is something where we feel safe, we feel a part of it. And I'm so excited for the world to see it because it truly reminded me of like some of the best of like when I was growing up and the TV shows that I loved. And you guys are the best. Oh, thank <laughs> you. So thank you. It was so lovely meeting nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.